My name's Jeb, and this is my farm stand. Let the plants guide you on this journey through time. It started out as a regular lettuce grow. Let's get some vitality. Yeah. The idea with the vitality is to combine it with half chem nutrients and get something living in the water. The left tub will be aerated. The right will be cracky style. I'll do some periodic tests to have a better idea of what's going on. I was going to calibrate it, but I didn't. Time to even out the seedling situation. Vitality has already added about 250 ppm. Four plants each seems like a good fit. Of course, with one receiving air, it already isn't fair. I feel like a scientist recording these readings. Time to add half strength nutrients. Here we start to see the advantage of adding air to the water. The growth is lush. Ooh, burning in there. 
inner tip burn from lack of transpiration. I'm topping off with plain water for now. The fungus looks like that fungus. It turns out when you grow plants in something similar to insulation, mold from a wet wall can transfer to your plants. This isn't saleable, but let's check out the yield. Come on. Chickens. Oops. One and a half kilos. Let's try this again with less density. The nutrient water has plenty of goodness still. So I'm reusing it. stone tub has significantly higher pH. I'm gonna see if worm casting tea can help correct it. I got a spare seedling started to replace the lost. This is what happens when seedlings fall behind. High pH in the air tote can't help the matter either.
That's good. Mm. I'm confident in the nutrient setup. So I'm going to use the water again with a twist. If the tip burn is from the tent environment, moving one outdoors will tell me for sure. Things are warming up outside anyway. I think this old crusty airstone has been pumping calcium into the water. So I disconnected it. Perhaps the outdoor temps are still too cold, even for lettuce. Sixty-five degree water is too cold. I can afford to thin out a snack from the indoor. back I added a bunch of worm casting tea. Now it's time for some calcium nitrate. This one might not need any, but let's keep it fair. They are a bit spindly. No, it's not. It's not we British. Know British, okay. No come in and, British. Come in and get a shot of them. Evidently, growing indoors has some advantage. A little more calcium nitrate for the indoor, and then it'll be harvest time. There's still a tiny bit of tip burn on the indoor.
Mm. And there's still plenty of juice in the water. Get details on vitality and everything in the video description.